Farming some bitch here on a nice 85 degree evening in western New York. So we are in a pea field, green peas, like you would eat, buy at the grocery store and eat. These ones are gonna get frozen. So peas are about a 60 day crop. Plant them roughly 60 days later, you harvest them. And uh, we're gonna get out of the truck right now. We're gonna take a quick look. And in a minute, we're gonna see the machines dumping and the machines dumping in the, the dump cart, dumping into the truck. It's kind of like a grain cart. They cart it from the, from the truck or the field to the machine to the truck. So let's take a look. This machine just dumped. So here's a pile of the vines. Just what you might suspect. There's pea pods. There's the vines. So here's what the plant looks like in the field. They are delicious. I'm gonna fill my pocket with peas. They are delicious. These are a leafless variety. So I, I think I call them a filla, but I don't know exactly what they're called. They have some leaves, but they have a lot more of these tentacles or whatever you want to call them on there. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take a quick ride around the field, look at these machines and get out of these guys' way. Harvest is about wrapping up here. I believe it's the 19th of July. So uh, I think they got four machines in here working. So I'm gonna try to stay out of their way and get you a little bit of video. Tractor okay, trailer staged to get loaded and uh, off to the cannon factory. The cannon factory is about 17 miles away, I believe. And uh, these peas will be frozen in a few hours. So these pea combines are self-leveling front, back, and side to side. So as they go up the hill, down the hill, they work better if they're close to level. So they uh, they level themselves. They're uh, pretty incredible machines. Hopefully in a minute we'll get a little bit closer and we can take a look at the peas in the truck or coming out of the dump cart. But uh, awful lot of moving parts on a machine like that to make peas that are ready to go into the, into the freezer bag. So to give you an idea how big these machines are, there's a full-size pickup sitting in front of that one. So yes, they're on tracks. Not all the machines in Western New York are on tracks. But these guys, apparently this machine is, they're doing a little work to it. They have a service truck here that's literally a shop on wheels. So they've got uh, They've got a lot of tools, they've got a lot of supplies. We're gonna roll the window down here in a minute. It's gonna get a little bit louder, but uh... So they, they judge them by the, the moisture of the peas or how hard they are to crush. So they put them in a machine and they score them. So back when we used to harvest some peas, I worked for a fall, we harvested peas. A good score was 100, 105. I would guess from what I've seen of these, they're probably right in that neighborhood. So if they get too hard, they're no good. If they're too soft, they just mush up in the machine. So we'll, uh, We'll watch them dump on a truck here in a minute and maybe we'll get a close up of what they look like, but they take them back, clean them out, and uh, they're pretty much ready to go right in the freezer. The only thing cooler than a pea machine is their custom made dump cart. LSW is on the 420 Steiger. Look at that custom made dump cart, man. Go up and watch them dump on this uh, tractor trailer in a minute. So these guys typically stop when they dump. So I don't know if you can see them peas going in there, but just got a little dump box and dump them in. They got a little hopper that catches the peas that are running through the machine. They don't like to shut the machines off if they can help it. The little hopper just went back up to the side, dumped what it had in the in the big hopper, and he's probably heading to dump another machine, and he's gonna be dumping on the truck. So when they harvest peas, they run round the clock. They usually don't stop unless the peas aren't ready. So they run two shifts, 24 hours a day, and rain shine. You, uh, he's putting that cart up right there to get the peas a little bit closer to the other side, so they could dump more in there. So. That's kind of cool. 
So he's already dumped once in the tractor trailer. He'll be dumping again in a minute, and away they'll go. So I had to cut my video short because a friend of mine was coming over to work on the grain dryer. Grain harvest is a ways away, but we got to get it ready. So these are basically how the peas look when they come out of the pea combine. So these are raw. We haven't cooked them yet. We're going to put them in the steamer. We put a bunch in the freezer tonight. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and we got a bunch of cool other crops that are growing in western New York. We're going to show you as the summer progresses. As always, great day to feed the world. Hope you are too.